So now I want to go over some more examples on changing decimals into percents. And in my previous video, from going percent to decimal, we had to move the decimal point two units to the left. And now, when we have to change a decimal to a percent, we have to do exactly the opposite. I wrote this for you in green. We have to move the decimal point two units to the right. So let's get started right away with these examples. Here we have 0 0.05. Once again, when going from decimal to percent, we need to move the decimal point two units to the right. So that's what I'm going to do right now. One, two. And after we move our decimal point two units to the right, our 0 0.05 just becomes a five. And after we move our point to the right, we can change our decimal into a percent. So we change the decimal 0 0.05 into a percentage, and our final answer is 5%. So now let's move on to our next example. Here we have 1.3. We're changing a decimal into a percent, so we need to move our point two units to the right. So that's what I'm going to do right now. One, two. And notice after we move our decimal point two units, how we have an empty space to the right of the three. And that's okay, because this can be fixed just by adding a zero. So now after we move our point, our 1.3 becomes a 130. And also after we move our point, our decimal can be written as a percentage. So we changed our decimal of 1.3 into a percentage of 130%. So let's move on to our last example, 0 0.0095. Once again, we're changing into a percent, so we need to move our decimal point two units to the right. So that's what I'm going to do right now. One, two. And after we move our decimal point two units to the right, our 0 0.0095 becomes 0.95. And also, after we move our point to the right, our decimal can be written as a percentage. So we just changed 0 0.0095 into a percentage, and we have a final answer of 0.95%. And one way you can double check all your answers is that your decimal should always be smaller than your percent. Notice in our first example, our decimal of 0 0.05 is certainly smaller than our percentage of 5. Notice in our second example, our 1.3 is certainly smaller than our percentage of 130. And the same thing in our last example, our decimal of 0 0.0095 is smaller than our percentage of 0.95. So that's a way that you can double check that you moved your decimal point two units in the right direction. And this is the basic idea of changing a decimal into a percent. So here are some more videos with more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you are finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.